Hello, Deb. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Laura. Hello, Tiffany. How are you all doing today? We're doing a bit of mixed media here. I'm just waiting for Laura to pin the comment so she can then come and grab hold of the camera. But before she does, <laughs> say Hi. hello to Would You Bend Ambassador Sue. How are you doing, Sue? Good, thank you. Hi, everyone. There's Michelle. There you go. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Solly Joe from Would You Bend. Today we're going to be doing a mixed media project. This is episode two of what we started the other day. You weren't here when I did this, no. were you? <laughs> so watch what I'm going to do to her. Watch what I'm going to do to her. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. So I took an old canvas, oh. bought it from a charity shop for about 20p, I think. I then decoupaged this beautiful um, paper on here. And then I took some of our lovely um, smooth metallic pastes, uh, the green bronze and the charcoal black, and I just mixed them in to the surface, blended round, blended round, so you so you can't see the where the, the the sheet of paper is basically. Let that dry really fast, and then we came in and did some raised stenciling with the pace and we puffed it up as um, people are saying at the moment. Then uh, Sue came back and um, and then Solly threw this in the glue. <laughs> oh, and I, well, my plan was to just put these on here <clears throat> like so. I just did the yeah, just the silver things. I was just going to pop these on here like that and kind of frame the picture like that and then Sue turned up and whenever Sue turns up things change <laughs> she starts tapping um, so Sue's going to tell you what she's done we're going to be building this up now in 3D well Sue's going to be doing that um, on Friday I have a live with Would You Bend Stockist Mara Le Fay who is also an IOS stockist and I need to practice my stamping skills a little bit. <laughs> so I'm going to be messing around here with some of our Would You Bend sheet. This is um, SKU, what's this there? 2295. This is 2295. So come in this shape, like that, that size, they're very thin. And you warm them up and you can um, cut them, cut stuff out, paint them. I'm going to be stamping some some of this stuff here, playing around with stamps uh, and inks and um, Sue's going to be showing you how she got to the results she did with the flowers and then she's going to stick them on the surface and we're just going to have a general play with the posh chalk artisan products. Is that the right word to say? Rain. Rain. Oh, <laughs> the artisan rain. <laughs> We're still finding our words here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start saying hello to people. Right, so I also, I love 2295 because you can do, just go off road and do your own thing. So um, I got to thinking, um, Sonny's used this beautiful rice paper here. So I thought, well, why not um, stick the rice paper onto the, onto the 2295 and cut it out? Um, so... And the other benefit of doing that is I've painted the top surface white, so that keeps your rice paper colours true. And then I've painted the back pink so that when I start to sit them down, I can then heat and curl the leaves up to make it more 3D. Um, and then I also got to think in, as I do, <laughs> getting off on a tangent all over, um, what would happen if we put the paste on and then popped it up? Um, as you can see, even though this has been popped and where I've been handling it, it's got a little squashed, but I still really like the texture of that. So it's just really having a, a play around. Uh, that one was actually put on with a palette knife. Uh, this one I've brushed on, and then I've also added the textured paste in the gold to the middle. So it looks like a little seeds in the middle. So it's just really have a good old play with it, really. Um, so this... You can see how flexible it is. So I've got the 
pink on the back, I've got the white on the front, I've stuck the rice paper on there, and you can just literally cut it out as you would, as if it was paper. And you don't have to worry too much about the edges because we're going to go around with another finish again. Because um, one finish is never enough, when you can have ten. So. <laughs> Especially if your name is Sue. So I'd like to put some paste mm -hmm. or some pigment or some wax on those edges, curl them up. But look, you can see how far I've nearly gone all the way around just with the heat from that one. Um, and as it starts to set a little bit, we'll just pop that back on or reheat it with the gun. I'll just finish that one, so I've got that one to use as well. And it really heats, because it's so thin, it heats really quickly. And there's no need to even cut them out twice, uh, as I did on the first ones. So then I thought, well, that, there's no need to do that, because I can just cut it all out in one go. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting some posh pigments ready here and I've decided I'm going to be putting my posh pigments, uh, posh chalk pigments in these little vases because I'm sick of throwing it away basically. So I've got some pigments in there, that's the lemon gold. And I'm just going to drop some top coat sealer in there. Because I'm going to be doing some stamping but... Uh, I want to blend the surface in metallics first on the wood you bend sheet. Isn't that lovely? These are available to stockists. They're buying them like uh, nobody's business, like loaves of bread at the moment, um, and they will be near a stockist. Uh, very soon, just as soon as we can get them transport, tra uh, transported. So I'm going to start on here, I think. And you see, see can you pass me some, oh, I've got some brushes here, it's all right, I've got some brushes. No, I'm just going to hog all these brushes like this. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't doubt you for one second. <laughs> I'm just coming in with some more top coat sealing and see how far this stuff goes. Sorry. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> I do know I'm having a good play though. So you can see how beautifully these pigments blend with each other not just dry but actually when they are wet because some pigments they do you can blend them together you can mix them in together whilst they're dry um, but sometimes they do separate um, when they're in their liquid state
What's everybody up to today? Would you bend in, blend in, paint in? <laughs> Has anybody used the, the, the sheet, the 2295, and what, what they've been doing with it if they have? <laughs> Deb Olson is clear coating today. Clear coating. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to do some stomping now. She's waiting. What did you say I'd do with this, Sue? Um, so, just are you using the stamp pad or the, the roller? What do I need to use? Don't you know? Uh, you can, this, this will be fine. I think it will come out on there because it's quite light. So, just pad to stamp and tap, tap all over it and then just stamp. Just nice and firm. You should see it going. And I'll be a pro by Friday when I do my live with the uh, Would You Bend Stockist. And Sabine is in the house. Hi. Say hello to Sabine, everybody. Sabine Schultz. Hi, Sabine. Hi, Sabine. Sabine is our brand new distributor. To her lovely IOD stockists. Go on, Sabine, tell them which countries because I can't remember. Ooh, that's pretty. You're so, proud of yourself. <laughs> we did a live the other day with Sabine. We welcomed her to their Would You Bay Pop Chalking family. And we're really looking forward to going over to see her as well. Never been to Denmark. Ooh, can I come? Hi, <laughs> <Hey>, Amy. <laughs> We're all going. So as I'm, I'm placing these, I'm getting them nice and warm. I don't know, can you get that, Laura, so you can see how that's all nicely curled up? And the great thing being that if you don't get it as you want it the first time, you can come back and um, just reheat it and curl it a little bit more or flatten it down, depending on the arrangement that you build up. Um, mix rice papers, patterns, napkins, stamps. Um, my brain just goes off in all directions, <laughs> so I'll be, I'll be mixing it up with all sorts. Ooh, oh, I'm liking this. This is really cool. <laughs> Full. And this is a lot easier than paint as well, I will say. Because I, I did it with the paint the other day and I. Oh, you said to do. One smaller, didn't you? Yeah, the did same. you mean the same shape? No, you can you can use different ones. I just did it. Um, you could just cut those off, can't you? But I just did it with the same one repeating. But yeah, just build it up with different because they all go together anyway, don't they? <laughs> um, and also, I did just want to want to show you as well. So obviously, it has some little bits left. So even those, um, if you make sure they're nice, really nice and warm. Actually curl them round and make little shapes to go in there as well to, to sort of add to the 3D effect so never throw anything away or you could just well anything really heat them up in a pile just to get texture um, so yeah <laughs> I didn't do that right, did I? What did I do wrong? Uh, you've only got ink on. Or is that still wet? Oh, it's still wet. Still wet. Still wet. <laughs> what not to do? <laughs> there we you go. Stamp something if it's still wet. <laughs> 
We've had a very lazy day today, and we've kind of, you know, I'm in one of those moods. Kind of, oh. If this is a lazy day, I'd like to see a busy one. <laughs> <laughs> if that was a lazy day, heaven help me for a busy one. Well, today we went down to the workshop because we are going on a national TV channel. Well, Sue is, not me. Which is why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So we've got all the... Uh, we've got all the designs out that we will be uh, show... Well, Sue will be showcasing on the television. So... Let's see what everybody's doing. To oh, that's looking beautiful, Sue. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Chris, look, Chris, Chris is watching. Yeah, so Chris, take care, Miss Ayati. Betty's asking what products are we using? We are using, it's all Would You Bend Goodness and Posh Chalk Artisan. So this is the oh my god two two nine five. That's probably one of the only, only numbers <laughs> that I know, which is the Would You Bend sheet. So I've um, decoupaged some rice paper on there, and I've got it nice and warm, and simply cut it out with scissors. So I'm now building up onto this flat rice paper, so we get a nice three D effect. So faffing and flowers, two of my favourites. <laughs> <papers. laughs> right, are these ready to cut out, Sue? So. If they're dry, Can now fill these up with paste, can't I? Should I do it with the paste before I, or should I just leave uh, it with the dye on? Like that? Um, I did the one with the dye, um, but yeah, there's nothing to stop you going over with pink and mint um, paste, whatever, whatever you fancy, really. It's looking pretty, says Michelle. Beautiful, says Angie. Thank you. Cool idea, Sue, says Betty. Thank you. Hello, Rima. Hey, Rima. Hiya. So has anybody been telling us what they've been doing today? Or are they all just sat watching us? I think they not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> um... No, I <laughs> Betty is working in the yard and painting. Michelle is designing files and making prototypes. Mm. Mm. And we would deeply appreciate it, guys, if you could sprinkle the live. Jane Sheet says this is outstanding. One of our Would You Bend stockists. Lazy day here, says Angie. Oh, 
sure it's the first glower. I want to do some clothing with these sheets. Oh. Yeah. Clothing? Yeah, on a mannequin. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Not for us then. <laughs> no, I think it would be a little bit rigid and scratchy. <laughs> oh. I don't. Where's the postman? Let's <laughs> check. Textured in. That's the one. So I'm just going to add the, uh, the gorgeous gold. It's vintage gold textured paste. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle there because this puffs as well. Um, I'm going to add the heat if I can reach. I did that afterwards was so that I could actually attach this flower in the first place without squashing it down. Linda Carter is doing her least favourite things, dark waxing a dining table that has to be delivered today. Oh. Uh. Don't envy you, Linda. <laughs> I've lost a little rose bed that I had as well. I've done the flowers. What now what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want me to stick them so? <laughs> Well, you just stick them together, and then I added it. I had another. I had another one there, but um, I had it on a real contrast. So I had a like a turquoise and gold stripe underneath it. So it really. So I can just save these now. Yeah, and, um, just add them to anything. I can add them to that door, can't I? That'll be with. Um, yeah. Um, it's, it's just to to give everybody an idea of, of you know. What you can do with them. Yeah. Only limit is your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> mine's like. <laughs> <laughs> Little flower actually, I, can do I, mean. I know. <laughs> I could put the paste on it because I think I, I feel I need another one, um, and then we can have that on there. You know, I've got those behind you. Oh, yeah, I've got to put that out, just warming it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just going to come in. Do you want it with a gold background, or do you want it? Um, I'm going to put paste over it so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay. We'll put it directly onto the wood you bend. I didn't sell this off. Mm -mm. Who was it? <laughs> Dad. I'll win you back. <laughs> Are you okay to carry on with it? So. Yep. So I'm just cutting another rose out here. So I'm not being too particular because I'm going to put a finish on the edges of these as well. But depending on what you're doing, you could be really. And if you've got your little decoupage scissors in case, <laughs> send them kitchen scissors. What are they, special scissors? scissors? Uh, you can get, yeah, so you can get special ones, as long as they're nice and sharp, because this is really nice and easy to cut. It's cutting through that, no trouble at all. Um, and obviously if you had more time, if you wanted to, you could just round those edges with a, a little bit of sandpaper. Sabine says, okay. Sue, we need you for a live together for a small creative project. Okay then, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> I might need Laura to work out the tech on it, though. The tech <laughs> is not my uh, strong point at all. I'm not even going to pretend. <laughs> that is lovely so sandy thank you my imagination is most often out of control says betty yeah i'm with you on that betty that's the thing no sooner am i doing one thing then i'm thinking of something else that i might be able to do and the, the fun part is trying it it might not always work or translate in the way you think it's going to but give it a go 
if it, you know, it, that's how you have happy accidents as well, isn't it? And you think, well, it wasn't what I started off trying to do, but I like it. <laughs> you want me to cut this out? Yes, please. Or do you want to put your face on it? But no. No. <laughs> I can actually have that one. Can I have that one? Yeah, you can have that one. I want to say, look, I think this is really pretty. Look how the ink sits on there, it's really clear. It's so excellent, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's quite a sort of vintagey look, doesn't it? Mm. And you could always add some wax over that as well. I'm going to do another one. Um, right, so I'm going to put that on What if you cut around the petals to make each petal raise, asked Rima. Um, yeah, I did actually cut into these. I don't know if you can zoom in on that, Laura, so you can see where I've, I've cut, snipped in. Obviously, if you, you know, you've got more time, the, the sky's the limit. You could cut all the way around, almost like daisy-like. You could, you could, you know, whatever flowers there are, um, just, just make them up and make as many cuts or as few as you look as you like. Just fair. Just fair. <laughs> then maybe we can explain the concept of the 2295 with the uh, decoupage because Paul is asking if it's a new Would You Bend flower. No. This is Would You Bend. It's a sheet of Would You Bend. It starts off like that, so that's 2295. This is what you get when you order it, okay? And then you can just. So I've, I've used rice paper um, and I've painted white, it could be white or cream or whatever look, but obviously with rice paper you want to keep the, trellis, the, the colours nice and true, unless you're going for sort of a grungy steampunk look. Um, and on the back I painted pink, but so that when I curl them it's, it's not showing the, um, the true colour. Um, and then basically because it's so nice and warm um, and thin, you can just cut it out with scissors, which is what I've done here. And then also putting it in situ, you can bend those those um, petals and everything up to give it a nice 3D shape. Um, and then we're going to add, so this one, I'm going to make another one of these. Um, so I will actually, I'll cut into it so you can see. Wow, clever, says Paula. So I might go light to dark on this one. So I'm just gonna paint it in there. Shouldn't really stick that brush in there, but I just want to <laughs> be good and not cross contaminate the paste. Rima says, please explain that we do roll them when we send them out, Solly. Um, I can't explain that, Rima, because all stockists pack them differently. So if you've got a stockist, if you've got a customer that's um, ordering a box bigger than this, it's less room consuming to lay that flat in your box. Um, some stockists do warm them up and roll them up into a scroll. Um, it's, it all, it's, it's all down to the individual stockist and how they send it out. So I've, I've put some, just graduated the paste. It looks quite messy, but when you heat it, it just gives it that nice texture. Um, a little bit of green. Okay, so this real muted green this time. Oh, let me look at that last one, will we? I'm even being good, look, and not using the same paintbrush. <laughs> good, stuck to my fingers. So I've got a bit of a muted green there. So you can you can mess around, you can get different shades on there, just as you would paint really. It's great to use stamps as well, isn't it? Because you can get the eggs, you can get the shape. Yeah, yeah. And equally, there's nothing to stop you putting a stencil on there, stenciling your shape. Well, we did do, shall we show them the one we did earlier? 
Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> so that's the stencil feather. So basically, you get the the. I've actually put the paste through the stencil. Um, I've sprinkled a little bit of gold into the paste while it was wet as well, and then I've cut it out afterwards. So that's another nice effect that you can achieve. And that is a hint to what. Is it tomorrow's live? Tomorrow's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's live is going to be about, it's all it's going to be about peacocks. Yes. Two parcel and peacocks. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that it really, really bubbles up. And again, if you wanted to, there's nothing to stop you sprinkling. But while that was wet, before I popped it, um, you can get that effect by just sprinkling your pigment in there. You could even put some of the black textured paste in there. To in, make, in the middle, yeah, to yeah like it. I've done there with the gold. So I've, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I've put some black in this one just to give a little bit of contrast there. And the reason I put that on last is so that when I glue this down, so you can see now, because I've made the cuts, I can really... Bend that up. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna get it on first so I can press down in the middle without squashing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Tracy, my love, how are you? It's Tracy, our USA liaison. <laughs> Your painting lady. Otherwise known as Tracy Sayers from Better. Yvonne, thank you ever so much for inviting all those lovely people into our creations group yesterday. Most appreciated. Hello, Tracy. Tracy Callister. And the beauty with all these products, guys, is that you don't need to be as talented as Suey <laughs> to do all this because you're basically, you're using stamps to trace patterns um, like the flowers here. So you don't have to know how to um, draw a flower. The raised stenciling is just raised stenciling. You're just pushing paste through a stencil. The, we have lots of tutorials on how to blend the paste. paste how to blend the lovely liquid metal posh pigments, posh chalk pigments. Um, oh, <laughs> it's just a great way of doing, you know, doing a present for somebody or doing something for yourself uh, easily without having to be an artist necessarily. They're just such easy products to use. So, so I've got the posh chalk patina in pale gold. So tiny, tiny amount. You don't really need a huge amount. And I'm just going to go add that little bit of, mm. which just makes that pop a little bit more. And if you wanted to, you could also take a small brush. It's not very small, but um, just add some detail in there as well. I do think I need to go over these because there was only one coat of the posh pigments on here. Yeah. So, so brush or, or fingers, whichever you know you, you like to do. You can get some on there. Oh, look at that. Mm. Fabulous. Your daughter hates glitter, Yvonne. Well, wow. <laughs> hi Tina. Hi Tina. We definitely need some copper on those corners, then, don't we? So I think copper. Have I mixed up the wrong posh pigment here? I've already mm. mixed some. Copper, That's copper, I? yeah. So as much as little as you want, you can go in with different colours, just highlight any of the petals. Mm. 
Do you want to get nothing there? Do you want to go overboard? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to go overboard? So what do you want to do on these corners? I want to just brighten up the brush pigments a bit. And I think I'm going to come in with lemon gold. What do you think, Sue? Lemon gold? Yeah. In where? So here. Lemon yeah. silver. Well, that brush is crap. So I have done this in the pale gold. But I wanted the lemon gold. I just think it, it makes it stand out a bit more, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, am I spilling stuff there? see how well this stuff goes an awful long way first of all the brush chalk pigments and it is like liquid gold and it is a pure metallic pigment and I'm going to come in with some light silver I'm just wondering whether to dry brush over it with the gold. Do you think it's a little bit standy outy? Standy outy. That's new technology. Well, we're going to put some. We'll put, we'll put some <laughs> wax on these anyway. We'll get some wax going. Yeah, on I like those. that little bit of gold going on there. Yeah. If you want to get some gilding wax out. Yeah. What colour do you want to go for? Uh, I don't know. Browns. So there you go, guys. Nice and bright. Dark brown. Whatever you fancy, my dear. Mm, I want to go in here and put some. <laughs> go in there then. <laughs> Just highlight the edges a little bit. That one there, actually, you could do some poppies, couldn't you? You could do some what? Sort of poppies. Poppies. It looks like a poppy. Oh. <laughs> Who's faffing now? Just see because you can turn this into a wash as well. So I need a bit more clear coat. About that soon. Yep, that looks good. You can see that pigment spreading out over the surface in this. It's not covering it's the finished. colours up, it's just pulling it all in because there is a lot of metallics going on here. And all I'm doing is just, put, I've still got loads of pigments on my brush, but I'm just popping. Just dipping my brush in the um, top coat sealer, which is gloss. Mm. Right, I'm going to dry that now, then we can start getting some. Uh... Oh, Yielding waxes on the surface. I just love how the products That's how Sabine talks, reading the bags, as long as it's out. I am copying Sabine's accent. I'm sure she'll be really happy about that. <laughs> well, I copy all the Americans, so we need to copy Sabine's. Well. Copy Please, practice. <laughs> Is 
it's really great to know that all these products work really well together as well. So you just can't go wrong with these. You can just mix and match and combine them, use them separately, however you want to do That's it. That's because they all belong to the same family. To the same family. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got brown and black. Yeah. Which I now can't. <laughs> That's black. <laughs> <laughs> This is, just, this is just to give it a little bit of depth. Do you want to do it all in black or? Just do it black brown, they're, they're, they're very close together. You're going into your mouldings? Yeah, you can do if you want. Do whatever you want, Sue. You always do <laughs> anyway. You always do anyway. <laughs> Quarter to six. Okie dokie. Time to say goodbye. We'll just get this down. Yeah. So, see the difference that one with that one? The amount of depth. Sue's so really just smudging it all over there. <laughs> yeah, I like the way it looks when it just sits in those recesses. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> So, we do hope that you will join us tomorrow for the Peacock Saga. That's what Sue's done today. She's finished it off. I think that looks lovely. Yeah. What's everybody think? Let's see some hearts, guys. Isn't she doing well? well? I hope it's got your imagination going for, I'm going to say it one more time, because I never know my numbers. So, 2295, which is the Woody Ben sheet. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tracy... Trombetta is asking if the black and brown wax um, are metallic at all. They do have metallic in them, but it's very, very slight, Tracy. So I'd say, no, you can't really see it. Um, there is there is a, a very small amount in, but no, they smell really nice. They do smell really nice. But we'll be coming out with lots more colours. Um, as the demand grows for them. Um, thank you ever so much for watching us, guys. Thank and you. we will see what time we're on tomorrow. I've forgotten. Laura? We'll post it. We'll post, post, it. It. We'll post it. it in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Have Thanks a lot. fabulous afternoon. Bye.